Hello. I can't believe Foxley is doing this, you guys. It is the first time for him and the baby kitty Bjorn. And we're outside. We're walking around. If I didn't get proof, I was like, no one's going to believe me. Just wait till we have 17 acres to wander, my love. Just wait till we take you there the first time. That was so cute. I can't believe Foxley actually went outside with me in the little baby Bjorn. I should start calling it the kitty Bjorn because let's be honest, that's what it is for me. But that was so much fun. I'm now inside. It is shower time. So I've got my pores being pore backed right now with a little bit of a face mask. And then I'm going to put in my JVN pre-wash scalp oil. I thought that was a good pit stop spot for us because I gotta let this sit in my hair for like 15 minutes. It's gonna work it into my hair a little bit. I'm sure there are some people out there that are like, come on Alicia, where is our video telling us everything that's going on with your land? Where's the pod? Where's the stuff? Where's the land? Let's go! Because that's how I feel. So I totally get that. But I, you guys, you guys ever feel like the like hurry up to wait thing? Like we're doing so much, we're trying to do so many things, and then we finally get there, and then now we're having to like wait for more things. So, hi Lou! Oh, hi! Mr. Jumping onto the counter. I don't want to get any of this stuff on you though, on your fur. You little precious man. He's the most precious man. He's like, well I knew you were talking about me. Okay, bye. Knock my camera lens into the sink. <laughs> Meow! Anyways, it's still been a nice couple of days. Even though we haven't been able to do everything that we were planning on doing. We had to delay the pod delivery by like a week. And they charge $150 for that. So if someone didn't know that and they have a pod, I'm just saying. Pod is a great service. I've really enjoyed using them. But if you change when you're having the pod delivered 72 hours before the scheduled time to have it delivered, then they charge you 150 bucks. And I was like, I feel like we even gave you guys good notice and everything, but 72 hours. I don't know. They're really, they're really getting their money with that one. But we are trying to get the money back for it. Jared's going to email them and just see if that's something that they can do. Because, I mean, why not, you know? Moo! Foxley was just meowing because he wanted to go outside in the catio, but Barney was sitting on the top shelf, and so he couldn't get by. So I had to, like, help him get through. Because sometimes she gets a little snappy, and if I just kind of, like, pet him, usher him down, but also block so that she couldn't go for him, then he'll feel more comfortable. And she never goes for him, but she'll, like, hiss and do, like, a little bop. And he's just very, you know, not wanting to get bopped, so he'll avoid her sometimes. But, yes, things are still moving along in a positive direction. They're just, they're just taking time, man. They're just taking time. So, we have still been leaving our compost. So, we popped over there the other day, and we'd had a box of compost there for like a week. And no animal got into it. It was perfectly fine. I was almost expecting an animal to get into it. But then the most recent time that we went... Someone had gotten into it. Oh, yeah, Bob. Wow. Do 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 it seems like. So there's a little bit of a mess to clean up, but it's fine. It's compost. It's all biodegradable. It's all animal safe. Um, and so we just kind of like cleaned it up back into another box, put it in another spot and made it, you know, less attractive ideally. But that's where the compost will be going anyway. So we need to figure out how to make it so that animals won't get into it because they're planning on having just an open front structure made out of pallets. So I'm like, okay, well, if they're messing with this, then like, obviously they're going to mess with 
that. So we'll have to see how that works. But there were turkeys. They're so cute. Gobble gobble. They were just, there. I think there were four of them. Um, and there was even a time when we were walking up and we didn't realize one was so close. And we were recording the further ones. And I was like, babe, wait a second. There was one a couple yards away. And he like kind of opened up his wings and then scurried off to be with his friends. Hi, Bobo. Everyone's come in. Hi. Hi, Bobo. Say hello. Your little geo bit on. Hi, your little geo bit. Hi. I was just hanging out. You looking in the mirror? You're like, who's that dapper dude? It's Bobo. Hi. Okay, I'll set you back down. Set you back down. So that's some bits and bobs from the last couple days. But today, I just want to get a good hair wash in, and then after that, I believe I'm going to make some tempeh. So I figured I'd show you guys the recipe that I've been doing, and just use this as an opportunity for a little check-in. And then also show you the products that I've been using on my face when I get out of the shower that I've been using to kind of help me also combat my little acne here and there. And it's really been helping. So I feel like my skin is not only clearing up, but it's healing from the inside out, and my skin tone is evening out more, so... That is awesome. Love it. Also, for my last video, if you guys saw it, I was chopping strawberries and freezing them, and someone left a comment asking about me leaving on the, like, the holes, the leaves, the stems, whatever you want to call them, the little green part at the top of the strawberry, and yes, I do leave those on there. And I thought this was a really good note to mention to everybody because I'd mentioned it in a video ages ago when I first found out. But I used to always cut off the tops of my strawberries because that's probably what I saw other people do. That's what I thought you were supposed to do. But you don't need to. I looked it up one day. I just Googled it. And the World Wide Web says they are perfectly fine to consume. I used to have bunny rabbits growing up and they would eat the whole thing. So I was like, why can't we eat the whole thing? So that's when I looked it up. Yeah, it's perfectly fine so I just chop my strawberries into quarters now so that they are easier to blend in my smoothies but I leave the tops on them and it doesn't alter the flavor of the smoothie at all so I think that's really cool and fun fact for everyone decaf latte number two of the day if we're being honest yum and I know there are so many different plant barista milks out there, but I just use the soy Kirkland vanilla milk. And it is a little sweetened, obviously, and has the vanilla in it. So I think it works really well, and it froths really well also in our Philips espresso machine. So that's just what we do. And then I do a pump of Monin brand chai and a scoop of Bloom's a scoop of Bloom's pumpkin powder and happiest camper ever. I kind of left you guys on a cliffhanger because I mentioned that my decaf grounds before, I didn't really like the taste of them, but they were pre-ground and I had them for ages and I was just trying to get through them. So I just bought this from Pete's. It is decaf, dark roast, whole bean, and it tastes so much different and so much better. So I want to keep looking locally for somewhere that I can just fill up my own container and... Um, this also was not organic, so I'd like to find an organic option. So, things to keep looking for. Very happy about that. The decaf espresso shot just tastes more, like, substantial and full flavored, you know? Very possible that it just lost flavor over time sitting in our cabinet. <laughs> Hi, mister. Hi. Hi. Do you want to come up? Do you want to come up and say hi to the people? Hi. Hi, people. Hi. Hi. I'm Mommy's secret weapon. Mommy's secret weapon. Want to go down? He kept trying to jump in the shower when I was in the shower. I was like, this is not for you, Moo Man. Speaking of getting through things in our pantry in preparation for moving the tiny house, we had quinoa that Jared made. We're trying to become more quinoa people. Honestly, I normally just go towards brown rice, if anything, but he made the rest of the quinoa that we had and I believe ended up putting in tomatoes and cucumber. So he's been munching on that throughout the week, took some with him to work today, and then I tried to make kind of like Trader Joe's sunflower cups because we have almond butter and then I had this block of baking chocolate which baking chocolate is almost the most flavorless thing. I did the funniest double burner ever and just used our always pan, filled it with water, 
turn that on boiling and then use a bowl that I knew that was oven safe and everything so because you know it's getting up to temperature put that in the middle and just had the chocolate in that that I was trying to melt down so it turned out okay Jared's really the one that's gonna end up eating this it is not very sweet even though I did add syrup and try to sweeten up the chocolate in itself and then followed the recipe for the almond butter it was a fun experiment. It was a fun experiment and one less thing in the pantry. I did it more as a bar than as cups just because of what we have in our household. So it's basically like a chocolate almond butter sandwich bar. I'm not going to do my full face routine with you guys because those of you that watch all my videos, I'm sure you're like, girl, I know exactly what you use. You don't need to tell me everything. So I will link everything down below that I do use, but the things I wanted to highlight are just two items from Typology that I've been using on my face to kind of help me out and even out my skin tone a little bit here and then just help my acne stay at bay. So one of them is a face serum for brown spots. And then my second one is a revitalizing serum to help with acne and breakouts. So these have been my go-to. I'm going to put this guy on today. I'm actually almost done with it. I do need to put in a typology order, which I might do today. I might do... I'm going to just keep putting it off. I don't know why. I just... I am keep putting it off. But I need to get more face wash. We're about to run out of that in the shower. I'm also running low on my face moisturizers, so I really just need to put in a decent order. And another thing that's a plus with Typology is they always have two thresholds for getting free products, and that's actually how I got both of these minis was from that. I think it's like $75 and then maybe $120. You get to pick an item out of their options for them to send you for free just for buying from their company. So I think that's awesome. I have been working on a shopping cart from their website for the last couple days, like I mentioned, and their free item right now is like a makeup pouch, and then another one are beauty face rounds, which I think I'm gonna get the rounds because I do have some, but I've had them for quite a while. They are compostable, so I think I'm just gonna compost my older ones and I haven't been using toner for quite a long time. I've seen mixed reviews on if you do or don't need to use toner. Um, I'm like literally out of this stuff. Come on, a little more. But I did want to try one of their toners that they have because my skin is on the drier side. So I'm kind of just trying to go with their suggestion of for drier skin and blemish prone like what they suggest that I use so I want to get on top of that need to do that today and if I tell you guys that I'm doing it today then the odds that I actually get it done are much higher And make myself some pancakes. I feel like a broken record with these pancakes, but I am loving them. They are so full of oats and full of protein powder, so I'm like, why not, man? If you have something you love eating and it's aligning with your goals, dude, stick to it. So just wait, that recipe will be coming out soon because I feel pretty good about the pancake recipe the pancake mix recipe that I've made. It ends up having one serving of my protein powder in it mixed with everything else, so I feel like I was able to get the ratios right with everything. I'm super stoked, so hang tight. I will have that coming out soon in a video and a recipe because it's been a game changer for me just having that available, having it here, so I can just measure out my mix, throw in the wet ingredients, and make myself some pancakes. Alright, don't do as I say or as I do with one of these like gua sha stone things. <laughs> I looked it up the other day on what you're supposed to do, so I'm still kind of a newbie at using this. It was gifted to me easily a year ago, and I've used it a little bit, but not a ton. So I'm just getting into the gua sha game. Gua sha -ing. Better gua the gua sha. 
All right. I'm going to make my pancakes and then I will get back together with you guys later after that and we will get that tempeh going. Tempeh time! So my go-to tempeh is always the Trader Joe's organic three grain tempeh. It's probably one of the best prices that I've found so far. I also have soy in my unlabeled jug, garlic powder, onion powder, liquid smoke, which honestly is the secret ingredient here, and then... Frank's Red Hot. This Red Hot I love because it doesn't have any oil in it. Since the package is two and a half servings, I cut it in half and then into five sections so that we end up with 10 pieces. So four pieces are approximately a serving, which ends up being 19 grams of protein. I used to cut them in tiny strips this way, but recently I started cutting them how I will this time and I'll show you because I saw it in an Instagram post and it looks, it just seems like the perfect way to cut them to grow them up on the griddler and throw them in sandwiches. And honestly, you can use these in any way. Sometimes I'll keep them up for breakfast, I'll keep them up for sandwiches, I'll crumble them up and add them into spaghetti or something. So you can really do anything with them and switch up the ingredients very easily to really go with any flavor profile. And you can either soak your tempeh in a bag or sometimes I'll just use a glass container like this and I'll just line them up on the bottom and it works really well, but either is a good option. watching my video I hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it give this video a like it really helps me out I appreciate it and I'm working towards my 1,000 subscriber goal at the moment so if you aren't subscribed give us a subscribe if you liked it and we will see you guys next time he gave up yeah don't get <laughs> don't touch me Yeah, we'll just get a little tie and tie him up. He looks like a Dr. Seuss tree. <laughs>